All right, guys, it's time for breakfast. And let's have a look outside here. <laughs> look at this. We have snow. We have the S word. My goodness. And the stuff is super sticky. <laughs> First snow of the year. Let's go have some breakfast. All right, so on my last video that I made of the Avada, I had a, a lot of questions in the comments, so I'm going to clear those up now. Um, like, number one was the battery. Like, oh, someone said about wiring the battery in. Well, this is not an FPV drone, and it's not a build your, build your own drone. And this is the battery here for the Avada. It's got connector on the back, a plug-in, so you slide it in and plug it in, and this is how I've got it now with the strap here. Um, you push it in all the way. Let's see if I can get the strap out of the way here. And then you would push the connector in the bottom here. I'm not going to put that in there right now. But I have this strap that I put on to stop the battery from ejecting. Now, I'm surprised that if this drone hits something on the forward motion, it's going to push the battery forward. I don't know how it ejects. It's even hard to get out without this strap on, just to pull it out of there. It's very, very hard. So that's the idea here. I put the strap on. That will hold the battery in. And then the plug-in here plugs in uh, to the drone itself. So that will clear up that uh, question about uh, wiring it up. There is no wires to wire up. You just pop them in, pop them out. And now that the battery is going to stay in, I think, much better. I don't think it'll eject anymore. Um, I don't need to put this V-Fly uh, beep unit buzzer uh, beacon on here anymore. I have it set right here. Now, I'm sure that if I hit something, this would fly off. Hopefully it wouldn't land too far from the drone and then it would uh, beep. But like I said, the Avada has a built-in beeper in it. So as long as the battery is in the drone, you'll get, uh, it'll beep. Or I can turn the beeper on and then go find it. So that was one question that will clear up. And another one was a pitch and yaw. Well, when it flies forward, it pitches like so to fly forward and yes when you're turning it'll turn like this if you just s sit there and turn but if you're flying forward and turning then it'll yaw a, a slight bit it won't tip over quite as far unless you use the um, FPV controller and put it in total manual mode then you can do flips and turns rolls and flip it right over and these are downward facing uh, props on on this drone here beautiful little drone so there there is a pitch and yaw when you're using um and a roll when you're using the fpv controller and set in manual you can't do that you can't set it in manual when you're using the motion controller and somebody said something about cradle shift i don't know what cradle shift means if you're watching this video or you see it let me know what cradle shift is i don't know what that is and uh another question was about the battery ejecting well i i there is something you can buy now that you can clip on here and it holds the battery in but I, i'm thinking that this strap is just as good it goes around way around here inside so it's not just around the battery it's around the housing of the drone itself so that's that should hold that in. I haven't had a, a crash since to test it, so I, I don't know. 
And uh, yes, I will show you. The, another question was, show us some video from inside the goggles. I guess I could take the camera and put it up real close to the goggle uh, eyepiece there and you can see inside. But the goggles do the recording anyways and it gives you all the readout uh, all the way around uh, your altitude, your distance, your speed, uh, all kinds of information in there. How many satellites, how well you're connected and I'll show you some of that here coming up in the next on this video here that I'm going to put out with this. And another one was a uh, return to home question. And if you're flying, if I have it set, you can set it for whatever you'd like, but I have it set for 30% battery left. Then it will return to home automatically. So if I'm flying around and the battery gets down to 30%, it will lift up to whatever altitude that I have it set for and return home and land. Now I can set it to 25 or 20 percent but I have it set to 30 I don't want to uh, run the batteries down too far so I think I'll take off the V fly uh, beacon thing here and now it's armed okay there we go now it's armed now if I simulate a hard crash like so. I'm thinking that should be good enough. It beeped. So now we'll just wait for a little while and it you can hear it beeping now. It will beep really loud. 105 decibels or in that range. I think it takes like 30 seconds or so before it starts beeping really loud. And then at night, like I said, it, there is a light that comes on there now it's flashing or it's uh, it has that strobe light for at night and it's beeping very loud right now you can hear the volume is much more than it was a minute ago let's turn that off there that's how the beacon works but like I said <clears throat> the Avada has a built-in beeper buzzer um, so I'll, I'll probably use that instead if I have to and it has a turtle mode it's called so if the drone lands upside down or if sideways like this it'll power up to uh, a set of on either side it'll power those up and flip it over and hopefully you're not in tall grass where you can still fly or hung up in a tree that won't work but if you hit a rock or something or uh, bump into something and it lands on the ground on its side on its back like this then you can go into turtle mode if you're you know a little ways away from the drone you don't want to walk over and pick it up um, you can flip it'll flip over and then you can take off and fly again so I'm gonna put a video up here at the end here and uh, we'll watch some uh, flight with through the um, through the drone video so you can see what that looks like and I think it I have there's two settings that you can set for stabilization although these kind of drones you know are meant to fly like the horizon is not straight but I can set it for something called rock steady or I can set it for horizon steady horizon steady works pretty good what I'm seeing in the goggles is the horizon going uh, whatever I'm turning but when I use the uh, footage from the drone itself the horizon is pretty solid so I'll show you that too and I'll show you some other features I'll uh, do some voice over and explain a little bit about what's going on I'll explain what's going on in the uh, goggle view and these are the goggles that it use uses with the antennas here and I could get the camera close up maybe so that you could see inside there uh, once I get it hooked up and everything and you can see inside of there but it's the same thing as as the re recording that's happening in here I've ordered a new 
um, headband, a little bit uh, colorful and what headband, but so and and a, I don't like this curly cord on the back here, and it's too long, so I have to go from here. It plugs in right here, and then goes around to this uh, 3D printed holder for the battery, and. You can see it's got three lights there, and there's supposed to be four, so it's it's down one light. And this curly cord, and so I, I've got enough. I ordered the new one, which has a new strap with a brace across here for the battery, but I'm, I'm going to use this um, 3D printed one anyways. And then the cord is only long enough to go to the battery, so I don't have cords hanging everywhere. So these are fantastic goggles. They do a real good job. As far as I'm concerned, I have no problems with it. And the only other thing was the um, <clears throat> the controller itself. This is the controller. And like I said, how it works is if the drone is hovering and standing still, uh, when you tip, tip it, not turn it, when you tip it, then it turns to the right or turns to the left. You can pitch up and it'll go straight up. It won't go like this and up it'll just go straight up and if you pitch down it will well it all depends on how far up you're, you're going and how far down you're you're uh, pointing and then it will go down <clears throat> and there's normal mode here which i think it goes 18 miles an hour and sport mode which is about 35 to 38 miles an hour which is plenty fast for me and we've got four lights on here so that's fully powered up so everything's powered up ready to go all I've got to do is find a nice day it's a nice day today a little cold but uh, not as cold as it was a few days ago so I might take it out for a flight today but I have some footage of a flight and I'll, I'll probably use that and I'll do some uh, voiceover and explain what's going on <clears throat> Now, the drone can fly backwards with this controller. So what you do is, you're pointing the controller in this direction. The drone is flying in this direction. And the goggles also tell, in, in uh, head tracking mode, also tells the drone how to fly. So if I've got the goggles like this, facing the drone, and the controller facing the drone, <clears throat> and the drone is moving forward, uh, I can turn my head around and face the opposite direction and believe it or not now the drone will fly backwards and I can turn left and right I can look with my goggles so as I'm flying <clears throat> even when I'm flying forward or backwards the drone is flying forward and if I look sideways with head tracking mode and have this pointed still straight forward the drone will fly like sideways so I can theoretically orbit around something which um, I'll probably do here too I've tried it already I've tried it in an open field where I wouldn't crash into anything because uh, going backwards I have no idea of where I'm where I'm going uh, because I'm looking in here also and I'm, I'm seeing what's out the front of the drone I'm looking out the camera uh, I'm not there is no camera on the back and this thing only has sensors on the bottom so it'll sense something below but not forward backward or sideways so if I'm heading for a rock backwards or forwards or sideways it's gonna hit it or bushes or whatever so I've got to be aware of my surroundings when I'm when I'm doing stuff like that. I don't know why you would want to fly backwards anyways. Uh, there is no reason. If I wanted to show you some beautiful backward flying, I could fly forward and just reverse the video. Uh, no problem there. It just make the video go backwards. It would simulate flying backwards. And you could have some, especially if you're going forward in a nice uh, cinematic or way that it's going around the trees and through little cracks and things little openings that would look really nice going backwards but to fly that in actual backward you couldn't do it 
So anyways, that's it, guys. So the next thing we're going to look for is the footage that I'm going to edit here and show you, and I'll explain to you what's going on in the goggles and what's going on <clears throat> in the drone as far as the video goes. Stay tuned. Okay, here we are in goggle mode, and I'm setting the head tracking mode here, the orange on the top. And... Uh, what we have across the bottom, the big N, is I'm in normal mode. And then next to that is the height. And above that is the um, speed. I'm going either up or down. To the right of that is the distance from me. And above that is the speed that I'm going. And right next to that, to the right, the numbers that just disappeared um, that's the distance off the ground. Once you get to a certain point, uh, the numbers will appear white and then orange or green then red when you're getting close to the ground. Now, as you can see here, I'm going backwards, forward and then backwards. Now, there's a crosshair in the center of the screen when you're going forward and the round dot there round circle. The round circle is where I'm pointing my motion controller. When I, where I point that is where I go. And when I'm going backwards, that little circle is on the edges. So then I know I'm in backwards mode. And here we can do a little hover. I'm turning my, my head to look at that. And the drone is flying sideways. Now the little H that's flying around the outside edges is my home position uh, telling me where home is so across the bottom on the far right is the battery how much battery I have left and to the right of that the numbers are indicating uh, how much how many minutes and seconds I have left of flight and that fluctuates up and down by how f how f hard I pull a trigger to the right of that it tells me the communication between everything the head the uh, goggles, the motion controller, and the drone. And then we have next to that is uh, how many, well, there's how many satellites I've got. Uh, between that is the, uh, I'm supposed to have like 50 megabits per second. That's good communication between me and the drone and the controller and everything there. And uh, that's just about it for as far as what goes on inside the goggles. So it's no sense showing you with my camera what's inside the goggles because the, the goggles record the video anyways. So just showing you this here is, is plenty good enough. And then here we'll do some little bit of flying between you know, tight places and things. Uh, not that tight. I'm not that good yet. So I need some practice. So you can see the H in the distance. That's where home position is. So I always know where home is. And it, right now the red numbers in the center of the screen in the bottom there tells me how far I am off the ground. And when it's six feet or less, I think it is, then that is um, in red. If it's above that, it's in orange. And then above 10 feet or something, it's in uh, white. So we're coming in for a landing here and then we'll head out again, put a new battery in. And then next I'll show you what the drone sees and not through the headset. And so much for that flight. All right, this is what the drone sees. There's no numbers, there's no distraction doing the orbit around this is I'm trying to do the same footage as I did with um, uh, with the through the drone through the heads uh, through the goggles so we can see what's what's going on there so there's no distractions here um, just nice flying and see what's going on and we'll just follow along for the same type of footage here
Okay, we're coming in for our landing, change batteries, the same as the, the goggle view. And then we'll put another battery in and go again. All right, and here we are with the pivot, the water pivots, doing the same maneuver through the tight gap. <laughs> And then we'll take it on home and land again. Uh, and that's it for the day. All right, let's go through the gap. Big opening. Now the, the uh, drone doesn't see the H there, so I know where home is. That's in the goggles. Okay, come in for a landing, and that's it for the day. Thank you guys for coming by and watching and listening to the review, and I hope I answered all your questions. If you got any more, please let me know in the comments below.